Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is the another most important scenario based Power BI interview question that has been asked by the interviewer of Infosys during the recruitment process of Power BI developer job role. Okay. So before moving into the question, let me show you the data set that I have already imported into this Power BI desktop environment and that is called as a product and purchase. Okay. So if you want to see the data, what exactly it contains, just click on this product table. And here you can see this product table contain three columns. One is product ID, then next is product name and production cost. Okay. These are the three columns that is available inside this product table. Okay. Then the next table is purchase table. And inside this purchase table, we have a column called as the purchase ID, then purchase date and production ID that is coming from this product table. Then this is a quantity, price, revenue, cost and the profit column. All right. Now let's move to this report view and let's understand the requirement. Okay. So based on these two tables, that is product table and purchase table, we have to calculate year over year variance percentage. Okay. So how can you do that? This is the requirement. Okay. So let me show you the output first. Okay. So that it will be easy for you to understand what exactly we are going to calculate. Right. So based on these two table, we have to create another table visual okay so in this table visual we want to show the year column okay one is the year column then next column we want to show for the total revenue all right then in this particular column we want to calculate the previous year revenue okay so as you can see here in 2015 our total revenue is 40.49 right and in the previous year revenue we are not getting any value because before 2015 we don't have any data correct but in case of 2016, current total revenue is 44,725.81, correct? But in the previous revenue, what we are exactly getting? We are getting the same value that is 40.49 over here, correct? For 2017, like that, we are getting this value in this particular row, all right? So in this way, we will first calculate the total revenue as per the year, okay? Then in the next column, we want to calculate the previous year revenue, okay? Then next is year over year variance. It means total revenue minus previous year revenue equal to year over year variance. All right. But our main motive is we have to calculate the year over year variance percentage. Okay. So to calculate the year over year variance percentage, here you can see this is a formula that is total sales minus last year sales divided by last year sales into 100. Right. So by applying this formula, we can get this year over year variance percentage over here. All right. So let's see from the scratch level how we can calculate this total revenue, previous year revenue, year over year variance and year over year variance percentage. All right. Now, as you can see here, this is a phrase PBIX file. And over here, I have uploaded those two tables that is product table and the purchase table. All right. So based on these two table, we have to calculate year over year variance percentage. All right. So for that, first of all, what you have to do, we have to create one new table called as the calendar table. Okay. And that calendar table will extract the data from this purchase date column of the purchase table. Okay. So how can we do that? For that, simple click on this table view. Then here, just click on new table. Okay. Then rename it as C A L E N D A R calendar okay equal to and now here we will use one DAX functions that is called as the calendar auto okay so what does this calendar auto DAX functions do it returns a table with one column of dates calculated from the model automatically it means it will evaluate all the tables okay whatever tables that we have loaded over here and from that it will extract all those date data all right so simple here we will close the bracket and then enter and now here you can see we have successfully created one table called as the calendar table and inside this calendar table we have one column called as the date column okay and this date column is coming from the purchase date column of the purchase table all right because this only one table contain the date type of data now if i want to change the view type of this date column so how can i do that just click on this date column that we have created and here we will change the format 
and we will select DDMMYYFY. Got it? Then the next step that we are going to do is we have to click on this report view. All right. Then here we will enter one table visual over here. And inside this table visual, we will pass the year column. Right? This is the year columns. So just extract this year column and put it on this column section. Okay? And here you can see this is starting from 2015 to 2021. Got it? now the next thing that we have to do is we have to create another table over here okay so just click on this table view then here just go to this home tab and here just click on this new table and rename it as all underscore measure all right then equal to then click enter okay then automatically it will create one table called as the all measures okay why we have created this measures table because here whatever measure that we are going to create we will keep all those things inside this particular folder right that's why we have created this one then go to this report view and now first of all we have to calculate the total revenue right so the total revenue will come from this revenue column of this purchase table right so for that now just right click on this all measures then click on the new measures then rename it as total revenue okay then equal to and here we have to enter one tax function that is called as the sum x tax function all right and remember this sum x tax function is basically used to returns the sum of an expression evaluated for each row in the table okay and it will take two argument that is table name that is the table name and the expression so here table name is called as the purchase so i'm entering the table name as purchase then give the comma then the second argument is the expression right so inside this expression we will pass revenue column of the purchase table right here it is then just click enter okay then close the bracket and click enter and now here you can see we have successfully created one new measure called as the total revenue right then now just drag this total revenue column and put it over here okay but now here you can see for each year the value of the total revenue is coming as the same value why it is because we have not done the data modeling part so just click on this data modeling part okay then here just arrange the table first and now here you can see this is the product table and this is the purchase table so just keep the purchase table on the top and put the product table in the down all right then here you can see this purchase table and the product table is linked with this product id column okay and this is one to many relationship now we have to create the relationship between this purchase table and the calendar table okay so here you can see this is a purchase date column okay so just drag this purchase date column and drop it over here and create a relationship between these two table that is many to one okay then go to this report view and here you can see we have successfully get the exact result of total revenue per each particular year okay then the next requirement is we have to find out the previous year revenue right so for that again right click on this all measure folder then click on this new measure okay then rename it as previous year sales or we can say revenue okay then equal to and here we have to first of all use the tax function called as the calculate what we want to calculate we want to calculate the total revenue okay then give the comma then the second argument is the filter right so in place of filter we will use one tax function that is called as date add okay this is the tax function that is called as a date add and this date add tax function is basically used to move the given set of data by a specific interval okay suppose we have a table called as a date and i want to take that date column into one year back so at that time i will use this date add tax function okay so it will take the argument as the dates number of intervals then the interval okay so in place of date i will take the date column of the calendar table okay then give the comma 
then the next argument is the number of interval right so in place of the number of interval i will give minus one okay then give the comma and next is interval so i want to calculate on the basis of year okay it means here we are going to calculate the total revenue where we are moving the year into one year back of this date column of the calendar table okay then again close the bracket and click enter all right and now here you can see we have again successfully created another new measure that is called as the previous year revenue right so just click on this particular visual okay then drag this previous year revenue into this column section and now as you can see this is a previous year revenue right so now as you can see here our previous revenue for 2015 is blank because before 2015 we don't have any data but in place of 2016 our previous year revenue is 40.49 right that's why here we are able to see 40.49 correct like that for 2017 here you can see this is the previous year revenue right or we can say last year revenue and here also we are able to see the last year revenue is 44,725.81 that's why for 2017 previous year revenue is 44,725.81 correct so in this way we can calculate the total revenue and the previous year revenue got it then the next requirement is we have to calculate variance of year over year okay it means we have to find out the difference between the total revenue and the previous year revenue all right so for that again right click on this all measures then click on the new measure then rename it as the year over year variance okay and then to calculate the year over year variance we have the formula that is total revenue minus previous year revenue right so as we know these are two calculated measures here you can see okay so we have to find out the difference between these two column okay so for that here we have to enter the total revenue column first then give the minus symbol and then we have to enter another measure that is previous year revenue okay then click enter then again just drag this year over year variance that we have recently created into this table visual okay and now if you will calculate 40.49 minus 0 is equal to 40.49 like that if you will calculate the difference between 44725.81 minus 40.49 then we will get the result as of 44685.32 okay so this is called as the year over year variance and how can we calculate this year over year variance for that we have to find out the difference between the total revenue and the previous year revenue okay and then we can get the year over year variance got it then our next requirement or we can say our last requirement is we have to calculate the year over year variance percentage right so to calculate that here you can see this is the formula that is total sales in place of total sales we can say total revenue minus last year sales it means minus previous year sales divided by last year sales it means previous year revenue right so so as we have already calculated the previous year revenue total revenue and year over year variance we can find out the year over year variance by dividing this year over year variance divided by previous year revenue right so to do that just right click on this all measures then click on this new measure field then rename it with year over year variance percentage okay then give the equal to symbol then here we have to use the dex function that is called as the divide dex function okay and here we have to divide the year over year variance so here we can enter the year over year variance measure then give the comma then enter the second argument that is called as the denominator so in place of that we can pass the value as the previous year revenue okay then close the bracket and click enter then click on this particular table visual then drag this year over year various percentage into this column section okay and now here you can see we are getting the year over year various percentage but it is not in percentage form it is showing like something different right so just click on this and over here in place of general just change it to percentage 
So now here you can see this year over year variance percentage column is showing the data on the basis of percentage form, right? But this is one value that is coming like 11.0361.37%. Why it is coming like this? Because you can see here in 2015, our total revenue is 40.49 only. But apart from this 2015, in all other years, it is showing as more than 40,000, right? So as compared to the 40 and it's 44,000, so it's a huge difference, right? And uh, this is happening because obviously I have created the data set wrongly, but in the real project, whenever you will, will work at that time, you will never see this type of huge difference because obviously you, you can imagine any company's revenue will never increase from 40.49 to 44,725.81 suddenly, correct? So obviously it's strong. So as of now, I'm just excluding this, this 2015 and 16. Okay, just exclude these two things. And you can see the other things here. We are getting the percentage value very correctly. Okay. So just minimize this one. Okay. Then go to this formatting section and go to the general and if give the effect or we can allow the shadow. Okay. Then click another this cluster column chart over here. All right. And here in place of X axis, we will take the year column. Okay, and in place of y axis, we will take the year over year various percentage. Okay, but here, as I have already told, this is a huge difference. That's why here it is showing a huge bar. So just right click on it and exclude for as of now. Okay, and now here you can see this is the year over year various percentage that is showing on the basis of year, and this is the clustered column chart. Right, and if I will click on this format tab then if I will allow this data level then it will be easy for you to understand here you can see this is the variance this is the year over year variance for 2017 and that is 95.68% here also you are getting the 95.68 percent but in place of and here you can see in 2018 and in 2020 21 we are getting the value as the negative right that's where this column are moving into the downward part but other are showing properly okay then just copy the format from here and paste it over here so that automatically the shadow will add it okay then the next is the slicer right so just click on this slicer and here we will give the product name so that will come from the product table and this is the product name okay then if we'll click on this any product from this list you can see the variance percentage is coming exactly okay so in this way we can calculate the year over year variance percentage in power bi all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye